Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about servers and clients. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, I find that doing server side is usually more difficult than building front end clients. Why do you think that is and do you agree? Uh, Yes and no. It depends a little bit on what we mean by, I mean, I'm going to get so annoying with you now and be a little philosophical, what is more difficult. Uh, and I'm just going to tell you that there is one in one scenario where I find that, yes, you are correct in the sense that I think that the server is more difficult, but I also find that the server can be more simple in other cases. And it really depends on uh, the level of front end work that is necessary. So what I mean by that is that for a lot of people, backend developers, they, you know, stuff like scalability and code quality, unit testing, all this stuff is sort of bred into that environment. And if you've ever tried to go heavy on unit testing, for example, server side, you will find a certain path pattern and you'll see that most are able to do that. If you do that on the front end, on the other hand, you will see that the average front end developer don't they don't even know what what front end unit testing is. They never do it. They never done it. And the reason is very simple. There's one part is that it's no there's no culture around it, and the other part that it is that it actually is very difficult to do testing of the UI layer in terms in comparison to how difficult it is to do it on the server, and that is due to one specific reason. There's a visual component. And when you work server-side, you, you basically always have the luxury of knowing that everything is, you know, it's, it's the same environment, right? There's no DOM, there's no CSS, there's no like global things or anything like that. And there's no like, in, if you're in like SBA land, there's no like component that wraps with behaviors and clicks and events and so forth. You can of course have a lot of like, if you talk events and so forth, that can absolutely exist on the server. But for the most part, it's a simpler environment to work in if you're just gonna focus on testing or things like that, right? Which makes the server very nice and elegant to work in. The only time you really have a problem server side is if you either create like really bad abstractions or let's say you have a lot of integrations, something like that. And that's sort of, I mean, I get it. For some people that's a problem, but honestly, I find that integration testing on back server side is fairly straightforward as well. There are mocks and stuffs and like there are ways to deal with that in a fairly elegant way. And if you write your code correctly, I find that to be fairly straightforward. But in front end, it's all almost, always a hassle to do that and you mean that we're not even talking about end-to-end -end testing where you might have to do UI based testing or use um, visual regression testing things like that there are so many things that can go wrong and can be considered a bug in front end that the amount of toil that you have to go through in order to do that sort of stuff front in the front end is actually fairly high but in terms of things making being more difficult on the server, yes, it, there is a certain level of truth of the, to that, and that I believe has mostly to do that the server is practically always, depending on the system now, potentially going to be bigger. The domain is bigger, if that makes sense. It's really, 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 really tough to scale a large backend system well it's inherently always going to be a difficult thing to deal with because the more, the more business logic you have, the more data, the more like integrations and so forth and so forth, the more code you have. And sure, a front end code base can be really, really big and I've worked on code bases like that, but at the same time, if you're dealing with a really bad backend system or like a really big backend system, uh, it can be extremely difficult. Inherently, I think that it is more difficult to deal with uh, like models between systems and so forth. It really depends on the architecture now, because if you're using, say, a monorepo or something like that, it's less of an issue to do model sharing between systems. But uh, I mean, if, if you've ever tried to maintain a large scale uh, uh, 
a large scale uh, microservices uh, in uh, backend or something like that, you will know the pain of getting all your ducks in a row because everything from breaking API changes between services to deployment problems, like, like there's so many things that can go wrong with the backend systems. Uh, so yes, I can f agree with you to a certain point that the server can be more difficult, but at the same time, all that stuff considered, all that's like the inherent, as I said, like the inherent uh, complexity of backend, I will argue is always higher. Going, it's always going to be higher than frontend in terms of like stuff that you can't really control. Because as I like to say, there is complexity that you the complexity that you cause yourself and then there is complexity that you cannot get away from that's my example is usually if I'm gonna ask you to sort 10 pairs of shoes that's a fairly straightforward problem inherently it's not a big uh, complicated problem but if I ask you to sort like a flight hanger of shoes that's inherently a really pro big problem it doesn't matter like, because there's so many shoes right the same sort of thing is uh, I argue it, 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 there is the case between front end and back end in an average code base because the inherent problems of front end are fairly simple like there's not that many things that you can do wrong in front end into like, that the or there's not that much that you have to master in comparison to just to just do the basics if that makes sense this problem with front end though, and that's why i don't feel it's fair to say that it's more difficult to use the bio to be in the back end is that front end is so gigantic in terms of things that you could potentially be doing in terms of libraries in terms of tooling in terms of all the different elements like the the different like there there are more dimensions if that makes sense in the front end code base or in the front end space where you have to be pretty much in the loop in an ecosystem of i don't know how many things in order to just produce consistent good results so the level of mastery that you have to have in your craft to be a very strong front end developer i will argue is higher I have so far, I can, it's actually scary because the honest to God, I believe that the main reason why frontend is like because people usually is clear and very accurately state that frontend is always a mess, and it, on the average, it is almost always a mess, and it is because the level of mastery you have to have as an individual to make it not a mess, to not fall victim to not the inherent complexity but the circumstantial complexity, the stuff that you actually cause yourself, you have to be a really good software developer to master that in a sense I like to say it's like working with in C C and the work that you do in a language such as C might not necessarily have to be like inherently the most complex thing in the world but you have but because you have so much freedom and so much power and there it's such a raw quote-unquote environment to work in you have to be pretty good at what you do in order to do it well but the same, and my argument is the same thing is true with front end. You have to be really, really damn good in order to just reduce the amount of uh, circumstantial complexity uh, so that you don't have all these issues because you can make so many mistakes. Backend has less of that. Does that, I hope that makes sense to you. A backend developer has a more narrow space of problems to deal with. These are still problems that are difficult but you don't have to be like I mean I will argue that most of the value you will get from a back-end developer starts at uh, you, you will get that from a mid-level sort of uh, software developer a mid-level ish developer will be able to do most of the stuff that happens in back-end without causing a lot of circumstantial problems but in front-end mid the, the average mid-level is still going to cause tons of problems I will still. I, I even go as far as to say that the. I've only met at this point now two, maybe three people that I would consider to be worthy of the title senior front end developer, and that's based on like seven. I don't know how many years I've been working now, but like I've never met anybody who I argued is so good at front-end development that you are basically guaranteed that if they, if you just let them do their thing, you're going to get 
a, like a scalable sol solution because that is how difficult it is to do front-end development so well that you don't have all these problems that usually happen with front-end developers or development. So what I want you to take away from this is that no, I I don't really agree that the server is more usually more difficult because it very much depends on what sort of things that you find difficult. So yes, servers can be difficult in the sense because you have to have more technical knowledge in some cases and there's more focus on testing and abstractions and more computer science topics. So if that's something that you find difficult, then yes, absolutely. And I, as I said earlier, I believe that uh, the the inherent complexity of the server is always going to be bigger because a backend system, like the backend systems, can be enormous, and all the problems that you have with data inconsistency, network connections, and like all these different moving parts that happen in the ser on the server side, is potentially uh, it's potentially the biggest problem that you will have because. As I said, some of this stuff, it doesn't matter how good you are as a software developer. You can't get away from the fact that you have multiple systems talking to each other and that there are like log and network errors and like all of these things that you don't really have control over. Even if you're a master level software developer, you're going to have to deal with that somehow. Frontend doesn't have as much of that because as soon as this frontend code is loaded into memory, you're sort of set because you're in an environment where there's less of that going on but the circumstantial complexity in frontend is enormous like it's so high that i will go as far as to say it as i said the average senior so-called senior frontend that's a joke to me i've met so many people who call themselves seniors and i would not it's laughable how little I agree with that title. I mean, that's what it's popular, but then again, my definition of what a senior actually is is a little bit higher than what the industry is. Because the f to do front end well, you have to be pretty gosh darn good. And I go as far as to say that the best front end developers are full stack developers. This idea that front end developers are like that the front end is quote unquote simple. Yeah, it's simple if you want to do it really, really shittily. Have a great day.